how to create a rotating shape video mask effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.6. Inside your project's edit window, hold in Ctrl and press I to insert a video of your choice for this project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. Inside your Media Pool master bin, find the thumbnail of the video that you have inserted into this project. Select the box in the bottom right corner of the video thumbnail to reveal the frame rate of your clip. Here in this example, the one that I will use for this project consists of 24 frames per second. Click and drag this to your edits timeline. Right click on the edits for your new video clip and go to open in Fusion page. With your media in one node selected, hold in shift and press space. Using the search box at the bottom of the select tool window, go to find a merge tool, select this and go to click on add. Media in 1 should automatically be connected to Merge 1 via the yellow background arrow. Deselect these nodes by clicking anywhere on the empty grid. Identify the point on your Fusion timeline where you wish for the rotating shape effect to start from. The video that I have chosen comprises of a duration of just over 8 seconds and I wish for the rotating circular effects to commence at the 2 second mark. Given the frame rate of 24 which we previously identified for this video, I will advance forward from frame 0 to frame 47. Go to your media pool and go to drag a duplicate of your video clip into your Fusion Nodes panel, which should be represented with the Media In 2 label. Deselect this new node, go to add an ellipse tool from the nodes options above, click on the grey box to the right of ellipse 1 and drag this to the blue effects mask arrow alongside Media In 2 to make a connection. With the ellipse 1 node selected, under Inspector and Controls, I wish to create the circular mask by just using the border and not the inside of the circle. In order to achieve this, we need to set a border width. Here in this example, I will set the value for this variable to 0.05 to increase the size of the outline. And to ensure that your video clip appears within this border, untick Solid. I will maintain the default size of this circle with a width and height of 0.5. Adjust these values if you wish. Go to select your Media In 2 node, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add Transform XF. Connect this new node to the green foreground arrow above Merge 1 so that your circular mask appears above your original video. With this new Transform node selected, under Inspector and Controls, with your frame pointer referring to the section of your video where you wish for the rotation of the shapes to start from, Select a keyframe diamond icon for angle, maintaining the default value of 0, so that the entire video appears in its original form. I wish for the circle outline to complete a whole 360 degree rotation after 5 seconds of screen time. Therefore, I will skip forward to frame 167, and will change angle to 360. At present, the speed of the rotation throughout the whole animation effect is consistent. What I will apply now is an ease in and ease out effect where the start and the end of the rotation are slower. To do this, select Spline, tick the angle box underneath Transform 1 next to your spline grid, zoom out by adjusting the scroll bars and the two adjustment circles above your spline grid so that you can see the boxes representing the two keyframes that you have applied to the angle variable. The consistency in the rotation speed is represented by the straight line. In order to have the rotation slowly start and slowly end, we need to add curvature to these points on the line on the chart. First we will add an ease in effect by selecting the box representing the first keyframe, parallel with value 0, which should make an additional box appear further up the line. Click and drag this down so that this second box is horizontally parallel with the box representing your original keyframe. Repeat the same process for the second keyframe above, ensuring that there is a straight yellow line between the adjustment box and the keyframe marker. These adjustments will ultimately slow down the incrementation of the angle value. Close the spline chart by clicking on the same header again. Now to add a second rotating ring, which will be smaller and placed within the original rotating circular shape. Select Merge 1, Hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a second Merge tool. Deselect this new Merge tool, hold in Control and select the three nodes Ellipse, Media in 2 and Transform 
which make up the first rotating shape in this project. Hold in Ctrl and press C to copy. Deselect these three nodes by clicking anywhere on your empty nodes grid. Hold in Ctrl and press V to paste. Connect your duplicated transform node to the green arrow which appears above Merge 2. Deselect your duplicated nodes. Select the duplicated ellipse 1. We will reduce the size of this particular circle outline by half. Decrease border width to 0.025 and reduce width and height to 0.25. Select the duplicated transform 1 node. For this particular shape, we will have this rotate clockwise. Find the keyframe marker on your fusion timeline, representing the end of your rotation effect at frame 167, and invert the angle value from 360 to minus 360. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.